Hey everybody, Coach Nate here. I just wanted to um, give you guys some encouragement as we head into the last weekend of the challenge. <clears throat> the uh, the last couple days can make a difference, right? So how you eat, that little last bit of exercise, getting some good sleep. I find that when I get a couple of good sleeps in a row, I definitely uh, am quite a bit lighter after that. If I don't sleep well, my body holds a lot of weight and I'm also a lot hungrier, so I end up eating more. So sleep is very important over these next few days. I wanted to give you a couple of tips on um, the best way to set yourself up for success on the scan. So we've had people in the past who have tried to fast, right? Not eat very much so that they're lighter. That, that seems to be okay. But the one thing we don't want to do is uh, dehydrate ourselves. So um, we had people last year that tested early in the morning on another machine. They came in and tested on ours after fasting and dehydrated themselves all morning and they were quite a bit higher on the uh, percentage so we had them drink like a couple liters of water really quickly wait about half an hour for it to settle and it actually brought their percentage down on the machine the reason for that is that it's sending like electricity through your body right and so if it travels faster because of all the water in your body um which water muscles are water soluble then it reads that as more muscle so then if you're dehydrated that muscle is going to be dried out and it's going to read that as fat so uh, we're not trying to game the system or anything but we just want to make sure keep make sure you don't have a disadvantage because you tried to be half a pound lighter by uh, cutting weight like you would for an mma fight or something like that so make sure you get a good sleep every night you can from now until your test Make sure you eat quality foods from now until then. Avoid alcohol, avoid salts, avoid um, like lots of extra bread and grain and stuff like that. Really eat well through the vegetables. It's only a couple of days and you can make quite a bit of difference in the last three or four days before your test. So good sleep, good food, uh, get in a few more exercise bouts and then make sure you're drinking your water because that water will flush you out and keep you going and, uh, and kind of cleanse you right? And then you'll test on, on your best on that day. Remember to bring some um, athletic attire so you can wear proper clothing. Uh, even just like shorts and a t-shirt weighs like a pound. So it does make a difference. Um, so make sure you wear the right stuff versus like big baggy jeans and whatever. Yeah. Last couple of days, we're almost there. I'm really excited to have a chance to sit down with everyone, no matter how you did on the results, no matter uh, whether you were super consistent, whether you were up and down, or whether you didn't really do much at all, I wanna chat with you. That's the biggest thing for me, is an opportunity for me to uh, share this journey with you and have a chat and just discuss um, how we can uh, set a, a year-long plan for you to be healthy. Right, This eight-week challenge was fantastic. It was a lot of fun. It was great to watch everybody really get into it. Uh, but I want to see you all get healthy throughout the year and continue to get better and better and better. That's a company directive. That's my life goal. And uh, I'm really excited to have a chance to sit down and chat with everybody on their tests on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of next week. Okay, guys. Look forward to seeing you soon.